Hi, welcome back to Easy Moto Tim, where I share tips to enhance your motorcycle travel experience. Today we'll look at the search function inside Garmin Basecamp. Basecamp has a comprehensive search function, but like everything else in Basecamp, it's a little complex. Let's see if we can break it down. Here we are in Garmin Basecamp. I've done a fresh install of the program. I'm going to assume that you have watched my other videos and especially the first one on the general setup of Basecamp. Today we want to look at the search function. In the upper right hand corner is a search box, but we're not going to look at that right away. I want to focus on the menu find and we'll first look at find all and look at the screen that pops up on the right hand side. Now it says top results and to the right there is a gear that's to open the find options and an X to close the find results. There are three icons here the first is points of interest. All three of these at the moment are selected. There's a blue line around them. If I click on that, the points of interest go away. Click on it again, that brings up the list of points of interest. Then there's the address section and the user data section. Now, notice that it have, has found things in Jackson, Kentucky. Why is that? Well, that's because Jackson, Kentucky is in the middle of the viewing area of the map. So the default is to search around the middle of the map. That's what's there. I will zoom in and you see that there are balloons and numbers. If I click on a list, uh, in the list, it, a, uh, there's a pop-up with an address, and each one is shown when you click on it in the list. Now you would think that you could click on the balloon and the information would pop up, but that doesn't happen. That's the way it is in uh, Google Maps, but not in Basecamp. You have to click on the item in the list in order to see it. Now I'm going to uh, zoom out again. There isn't much control when you have just find all. I'm going to close that results. And now go back to find and find options. Now this screen will make uh, it makes sense of how the search and find works. In this options you see that location says center of view. That's the default. Searches are all based on center of view unless you set, type something into the location. You have choices, top results. I don't know what constitute top results, but if you do that search, that's what you get. Points of interest opens up a two drop downs down here. I've set it at lodging and motel, but you can click the down arrow and you can look for all points of interest or scroll through the list and I'm going to pick lodging and hotel motel. Now if I click search it's going to find hotels that are ar around the center of the map and if I scroll down there are 50. These three dots are to find more items. If I click it again, 
it will search farther and it has found 200. Search again and it will find 500. 500 is the most that it will find. Now it will search based on the center of the map and it will only go out as far as the extent of the map, portion of the map that's showing. So, um, by the way, if I click that again, 500 is the most. And if I click the circular area arrow, at this point I click the circular arrow to refresh the list. Nothing happened. I thought Base Camp had frozen. It hadn't. It just took a very long time to clear the list of 500 hotels. Let's pick up where, and continue with exploring the find options. All right, let's do find, find options. Now, what if I want to find hotels not near the center of the map, but near someplace else? So let's find hotels near Little Rock, Arkansas. I'll type in Little Rock and select it in the list. You always have to select what is shown in the drop-down and search. And it moves over here. And if I zoom in, I see those hotels and I can select any one of them. And I can search again but it has found 81 hotels within the extent of the map. So based around Little Rock, it found 81 hotels within this area. I'm going to go back to the options. Let's look at searching for an address. So we can put in an address and have it search for that. Now, I've gone to the JNP Cycles website in Google, and here's the address that I want to put to see if I can find uh, JNP Cycles in Anamosa, Iowa. And notice that it's just west of the US 151. So we'll go back to base camp We'll put in the street. One three two two five circle drive. Circle drive court is there. We'll we'll try that. Uh, Anamosa. Iowa, again, always uh, select, click on what drops down, and the zip code 52205. Click on that and search. And there it is. There's our address. And let's zoom in, close the pop up, and there you see it. Uh, on the frontage road just west of US 151. So that's how you find an address. Go back to the options. There's another option to find an intersection and you would put in a street and a cross street. I find that that doesn't work very well. At this point in the demonstration, I attempted to search for an intersection that I know exists and it just didn't work. So my recommendation is stay away from trying to search for intersections. It might work, but most of the time it won't work. Let's continue with the next find option, which is find data in my collection. That gives you a list of items, waypoints, routes, etc., that are in your collection of 
data points. Now, what order are they in? They're not in alphabetical order. Well, remember, the default is from the middle of the map. So let's zoom out and refresh and try that again. And I'll move over here. See, Chicago is on top. And now let's move over here and refresh the list. And now you have the items in order from the center of the map. And you can see that they're listed in distances here. And those are distances from the middle of the map. I don't know if that's useful or not, but that's how it works. The next find option is find near selected user data. So let's click on Detroit and then find near the selected user data. Well, it shows you points of interest and uh, points in your user data from Detroit. That might be helpful, but let's say we want to find the hotels in Detroit. So we'll go to the more and you see it's set on all points of interest up here. Let's change that by scrolling down to lodging and selecting hotel motel and have it search. Now, wait a minute. Romney, West Virginia is not Detroit. So what has happened? It changed from searching around Detroit to searching around the middle of the map. It didn't hold that place. We go back to the options and there you see that the location is center of view and lodging hotel motel has been saved, but that's not where it is. So if you want to find the hotels around Detroit, type in, go to the find option screen, type in Detroit, select Detroit, Michigan, then do your search. And it'll, as again, it'll find the first 50, then more, then more. So I think that finding near selected user data uh, is really worthless. So my recommendation for all of your searching is to go to find, find options, pick the type, select your options, then do your search. If you're happy with center of view, you can leave that. If you want to do a search around a particular place, put that into the location. All right, there's one more thing to look at when searching, and that's the search bar in the upper right-hand corner. Let's put something in there. Let's search for San Francisco. And you see it comes up with some things that are based upon a search around the center of the view, not San Francisco, California. So let's try adding the state to our search and we get the same results. So how do we find San Francisco, California quickly? Go to the options, type in San Fran, click it in the dropdown, make your top results is set, and then search. And there is the city of San Francisco in the list. 
So you see this, I hope you see that um, now that you know how the search and find functions operate, that you really end up not using the search bar, not using any of the other options in the menu, but always go to find, find options, and go from there to search whatever you're looking for. Please leave a comment about whether you found that the search worked or difficulties that you had in using the search function. If you want to support this channel, please go to my website. There are Amazon affiliate link pages there. Uh, those are the items that I like and use. Click through to Amazon and make a purchase. And I'll see you in the next video.